What is happening fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve. You're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. I am out here with a pretty interesting scooter that was sent to me by InMotion. I believe this company is more known for its electric unicycles than it is known for its scooters. This is a pretty cool scooter though. It's under a thousand bucks and it's a dual motor scooter. Pretty interesting for a dual motor scooter. They're usually not this small. This is basically, it looks exactly like a commuter scooter. These are tubeless tires. They look like they're about eight inch. The stem looks relatively sturdy. The whole vehicle does feel like it's one relatively sturdy unit. It has one set of rear disc brakes. It says it has some sort of electronic brake and I'm not really sure how that works out. I'm not really sure how excited I am to ride a scooter with only one rear brake, but we're gonna take it on the road. They call this the climber. So it's supposed to be really good for getting up hills. It seems to me to be a pretty lightweight frame for a dual motor scooter but we're gonna uh, get on it and take a ride on it and we'll see what it feels like, so let's go. I haven't ridden this at all. I don't know what it's gonna be like. All right, it's got a little bit of kick to it for sure. It's got no suspension, which is pretty much standard for a scooter in this price point. I think this is just basically a commuter scooter with the ability to go up hills. So with this one brake, I'm not excited about going down the hill, but in order to test its uphill ability, we have to go down the hill first, right? So I'm gonna be real careful. I mean, I don't like this one brake thing here. I don't know what it means by, it says it has some sort of an electronic brake in there. Oh, come on, don't fucking crash here, buddy. All right, so I can definitely feel the dual motors though. We're gonna open it up right here for sure, let's go. Pretty sure my, my odometer, my, I'm pretty sure my speedometer is set to a kilometer, so I guess we're at like 12 miles an hour now. This isn't 20 miles an hour, right? No way. It rides pretty good. It rides like any other, like very, very stiff, no suspension scooter. But they call it the climber for a reason. I believe they made this to, they're trying to create a scooter that's not too expensive, that won't break the bank, but that can still climb hills because lesser scooters have trouble with hills. All right, we got no momentum here. We're gonna let the pedestrians go, and then we're gonna go up this hill. Let's go, climber, climb. All right, this is a pretty good hill right here. It's not too bad. Geez, I hope it doesn't rain. It's getting cold. All right, so this is a moderate hill. It's doing this no problem. I'm gonna take us to a steeper hill now. I know where all the steep hills are in this neighborhood. So here we are again going down. Like again, I don't, I'm not thrilled with the idea of cultivating a lot of speed going downhill relying on one brake. It's very rare that a brake will like acutely fail on you, but this scooter I think is rated for like mid 20 mile per hour range. I'm not sure how fast it actually can go. We got to get it on the flats to figure it out, I guess. But um, all right, let's go to the bottom of this hill here and then climb back up it. This is a pretty good hill. I'm on this all the time doing local chores and shit. Man, we're picking up a lot of speed here. I don't know, maybe this, maybe this is 20 miles an hour. Maybe I just don't even know what 20 miles per hour feels like anymore since I ride like fast scooters. I just don't want to fall on this fucking thing. It feels pretty good though, I will say it. It feels pretty good. I think what you can get for your money is getting better as years go by. All right, let's get up this hill now. Oh yeah, it's doing it, it's doing it. You need two motors, really. I mean, the E-Move Cruiser is the only single motor scooter that I know that can really beat up these hills and you don't have to worry about it breaking down. You know, the more I ride this, the more I am kind of pleasantly surprised by its sort of solid feel. Uh, it does have the ability to climb these hills, which is good. You know, I'm all about like long-term durability, so I can really just give you a performance review now. And then I can give you a long, I'm not gonna have a long, I'm not gonna have a long-term review for you. This guy's not going, he's just sitting there. Um, I'm not going to have a long-term review of this scooter because I'm not going to drive it a lot, but my, my initial feeling though is I kind of like the stiffness of it. I don't mind that it doesn't have suspension, like you just want to, you want to be commuting on this. You want to be on, on the street. You don't want to be going off-road or over dirty trails. But here it's definitely doing a good job on these hills and I like the way the motor sounds, it's quiet. And now I'm going to take us to a serious hill though, I'm going to take us to Outpost.
Yeah, again, like I don't like going downhill on one brake like this. I think this thing retails for a thousand flat, like a thousand bucks. And now I'm gonna take us to the, the a very steep local hill. Oh. I mean, this thing fucking moves. This is pretty cool. I mean, I don't know, would I want this on, instead of a 9 bot Max or something like that? It's hard to say. Ooh, these roads are rough for this fucking scooter, so I'm talking about you don't want to be doing this shit. All right, so this is like, this isn't the hill here, but this is a hill. We'll get up this easily, and then I'll take us up outpost. We'll see if the scooter can do it. I'm really scared of coming down that hill, but one time for the vlog, one time for the company that was nice enough to send this to me, I will be selling this scooter on Facebook Marketplace. I sell all the scooters I get, except for the small handful that I get that are good enough for delivery work. All right, so here we go. We're going up a hill now, let's go. This is a fucking dangerous hill for a scooter. I don't know why I'm doing this, guys. This is fucking stupid. All right, this isn't even, the hill actually doesn't get steep for a while, and I'm getting cold. That's my problem right now. I'm getting fucking cold. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to come back down this hill. It's gonna be a bitch. But we're doing it. This is definitely climbing. This is the hill is steep here now. All right, so the climber's doing its thing. I don't hear it struggling. We're definitely climbing a real hill right now. In the Hollywood Hills on Outpost. Man, a little scooter like this, so you gotta do like a lot of physical work to hold on to it. I feel like I'm getting tired. And I just worked out, I worked out like upper body right before this too. My shoulders are hurting, <laughs> fuck. There's nobody behind me. This is a good day to be doing this at least. I don't want to, do I want to go all the way to the top of Mulholland? I don't fucking think so. Feels like that's what we're doing though. The ultimate fucking test of the climber. The problem is I don't want to have to come down. I'm gonna pull over somewhere, but it feels like all right, this was a good test for the in-motion climber. I hope uh, the company appreciates I'm risking life and limb out here. Now's the hard part going down the hill. I gotta pull over and rest my arm a little bit. Fuck. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, shit. In-motion climber, pretty cool. Okay, ran over. All right, let's go down the hill. I mean, this is just gonna be a pure roll down the hill, right? I mean, how fast can I go? Uh, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna hold up any traffic. How fucking dangerous is this? Oh my God, no way am I gonna go fast on this thing. No way. It's just not, it's not, you know, it's like, it's not a lot of weight under you. So like one little fucking thing here. All right, this is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, this is not the right situation for a single brake scooter. I hear cars coming up behind me. Road's all fucked up here. Oh, my right shoulder is killing me. <laughs> I mean, this is fun, don't get me wrong. I see, I can see how if you get on this and you don't know anything, like right now, this doesn't seem that dangerous, but I just know it is dangerous to be flying downhill at 20 plus miles an hour with one brake. And it's a light scooter, you know? I like a heavier scooter for uh, driving fast, basically, or driving, you know, perilously. So, all right. We're almost home, so my review is good. My performance review is very good. I like the way it feels, it's comfortable. Handlebar is just high enough. Sometimes these scooters have really low handlebars and I can't fucking stand that shit. But um, yeah, my performance re review is high. I give it an eight out of 10 for just for performance because it's fun. And it's got dual motors, so it's got some kick. Yeah, I mean, you know what? I'll tell you what, this scooter, the more I ride it, the more I like it. I, mean, I like to give honest reviews. I think performance reviews you should always take with a grain of salt. The real question is, is what if I ride this a lot? Like, will it hold up? And what about post-sale service? If something goes wrong with it, will the company be there for you? I don't know, but you gotta keep all that stuff into account when you think about a scooter, not just that it rides good. But man, we're almost home. This was actually really I'm fun. Glad I finally did this. I've been uh, taking my time doing this review. Oh, my arms are killing me though. It's, it's not just because the scooter, it's just 
my arms are tired from lifting weights. Okay, let me pull over here and give you a sign off. Fellow pioneers, I was initially skeptical of the in-motion climber, but you could tell as I was riding it there, I do like the way it performed. This is just a performance review. I can't really say much more about the scooter as far as its durability, longevity, until I have it for a while. I'm probably not gonna rack up a lot of miles on this one, but for a thousand bucks, I pretty much would recommend it. It does feel very good. It's very stiff. I don't like the single braking system, so I wouldn't be going fast on this scooter and I wouldn't be going especially fast downhill. You can see on the ride, I was getting nervous. But in motion climber for a thousand bucks, pretty much worth the money. Definitely interesting to have a dual motor scooter in such a small frame and it felt good, but again, with a grain of salt. Guys, I appreciate you following the channel. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, make sure you leave comments, ask questions. You know I'm always gonna talk back to you. I appreciate your support. That's the in motion climber.